Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I did this Industrial Revolution presentation in PowerPoint. So we'll start inserting an icon. Here I just looked for a gear and I just inserted this one. And then you have to click on Convert to Shape and if you click Ctrl Shift G you'll be able to separate the icon into two different shapes. So now we can make this bigger and maybe reposition this a little bit. To duplicate the shape, you just have to hold control and drag your mouse. So then I'm going to insert a circle for the third shape that I did. So it looks different than the other gears. And with the align panel here, you can align it to middle and make everything um, just align and tidy. So now let's make this one bigger. This will be uh, an element that we'll have in other slides. So we need to set up the position perfectly for this slide because we're going to copy and paste it to the rest of the slides. So once you're happy with the placement, just select one and change the field to picture or texture field from stock images. And here we're going to look for a metal texture. So I'm just going to select this one, click on insert. And with the shape selected, go to picture format, click on crop and then click on fill. And now we're going to change it to grayscale. So go to format picture, the image panel, picture color, and click on the grayscale from recolor. And then you can just go to home, double click on the format painter, and then just click on the rest of the, of the gears to apply the same styles. And then just group this last gear that you did. Then you're going to select the three of them and go to shadow and let's apply this shadow here. And with these options, you can change the blur and the color, etc. Now right click format background and let's change the color to black. And now we're going to add a line. And if you hold shift, you will get a perfectly straight line. So then you can change the color to white and maybe increase the width a little bit. And then select the line, right click and click on send to back. And then we just need to start adding our title. So for this one, I just created three different text box. And here I just put the industrial revolution. And I'm going to add a background image later on. And then I just change the color of the second word. Now we're going to select the slide. We're going to duplicate with Ctrl D. And again, for this one, I'm just going to change the title. And I'm going to add a text box for the description. And just basically set up the layout as you want it to look like. And for the illustration on the left, I'm going to add another icon and this one is a factory. So again, just I just made it larger and then you can change the color from the format graphic panel. And then you can click on convert to shape. So now we have it as a, sh as a shape instead of an icon. So once you're happy with the size, right click and send to back. And to do the smoke, I just added a cigarette, actually, a cigarette, a, an icon of a cigarette. Again, convert to shape and you can just delete the elements that you don't want. And for this one, I'm going to flip it. So you go to shape format and rotate and click on flip horizontally. And then you can just make it larger, uh, maybe make the factory a little bit smaller. And once you're happy, again, right click, send to back for the smoke. And now we just need to add a little bit of rotation to our gears. Now let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and we'll remove the elements that we don't want for that layout. So for this one, we're going to have some pictures. So we need to search the images so you can just go to Google and look for, for example, here, I just look for industrial revolution and I'm just going to pick three images that I, that I really like. So for the first one, I just right click copy image and then control V 
And once you're happy with the placement, you're going to go to the format picture panel and you're going to select solid line. And here I just added like this um, golden stroke and you can increase the width as well. And then go to align and align to center. Now we're going to insert a line. So if you hold shift, you will get a perfectly straight line. So I just added like this vertical line. And then from the format shape panel, again, you can change the color to match the stroke of your image. And now we're going to select both of them and we're going to group them with Ctrl G. Now we're going to hold Ctrl in our keyboard and we're going to drag the mouse to duplicate this group that we did two times. And then we're going to send both of these elements to back with right click send to back. And now you can just align everything and to replace the images you'll have to ungroup with Ctrl Shift G and now we have the image and the line separated as two different elements. So the next thing is obviously to replace the images so once you select your image right click copy image and then click the image you want to replace right click change picture and select from clipboard and then you'll have to repeat the process with the other image. So you go to the image that you want and right click, copy image, select the image that you want to change, go to change picture and click from clipboard. And if you go to picture format, rotate, you can flip it the other way. And before moving on to the next slide, remember to rotate the gears a little bit more. And then let's repeat the process. So duplicate that slide and then delete everything you don't want there. And for this layout, I just created uh, three different points. So it's just a title and a description. Once I was happy with one, I just duplicated it two times. And before going into detail with the transitions, remember to rotate the gears a little bit more. Now let's go back to the first slide because we're going to add an image for the background. So here I just looked for an image that represents the topic, obviously. Um, so in this case is obviously these factories. And then you're just going to copy paste it with Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And here I'm just making it a little bit larger. So it takes a whole space and then right click send to back. And from the format picture panel, I'm just changing the transparency a little bit. And then you go to picture format crop and just to make everything tidy, move the handles a little bit until they snap with the borders of the slide. And now for the transitions, you're going to copy this image and then you're going to paste it on the second slide and you're going to send it to back, right click send to back and you're going to move it to the left. And then we're going to select the elements from the second slide. We're going to copy them and paste them into the first slide. For these ones, we're going to drag them to the right. And then we need to select the gears and the line and right click, bring to front. And then we're going to go to the third slide and we're going to copy the three images that we have. We're going to paste them into the second slide. And now we're going to drag them up and then you can move um, some of them a little bit higher. So the animation will look better. And then we're going to select the content from the second slide and we're going to paste it into the third slide. But now we're going to drag it to the left. And remember to bring the gears and the line to the front. So you just have to select those elements and then right click, bring to front. Now we're going to copy the images from the third slide and we're going to paste them into the fourth slide. And now we're going to drag them to the left as well. And then we're going to copy the points from the fourth slide and we're going to paste them into the third slide and this time we're going to drag them to the right. Now let's go back to the first slide and we're going to copy the title and we're going to paste it into the second slide and we're going to drag it to the left. Now the last thing that you need to do is select all slides holding shift 
and then click on transitions and click on morph and that's how I did this animation in PowerPoint. So if you like this video, please go to creatorsboot.com where you'll be able to download all my free slides and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for all your support and I will see you the next time.